My name is Tom Sirwald. I'm an assistant professor in the Immunobiology Division at the Jocelyn Diabetes Center. Uh, my lab focuses on the role of T cells in causing type 1 diabetes. Specifically, we're looking at the importance of how T cells develop within the thymus uh, and the role of thymic development on type 1 diabetes development. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a collaboration that I have with two other assistant professors here at the Jocelyn Diabetes Center, Stefan Kistler and Peng Yi. And we are collaborating on a three-pronged approach towards curing type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes is caused by T cells of the immune system that attack the insulin producing cells of the pancreas as if those cells were infected by a virus or a bacteria. There have been a number of clinical trials that have attempted to halt uh, or reverse type 1 diabetes. These clinical trials uh, fall into two major categories. Uh, one is to eliminate the autoimmune T cells that cause type 1 diabetes. And the other category is to increase uh, the regulation of these T cells that cause type 1 diabetes. These clinical trials overall have uh, failed to halt or reverse type 1 diabetes for long periods of time, although for short periods of time they seem to have some effect. It lends some reason to think that these approaches, if combined, could actually have a much more potent effect on uh, halting or reversing type 1 diabetes. One strategy that has shown many, much, some promise in a halting progression of type 1 diabetes is the complete ablation of the uh, person's immune system uh, using uh, basically a chemotherapy type approach. The problems with this approach is, that, is the toxicity associated with the treatment itself. One strategy spearheaded by my lab has been to develop alternative methods of ablating the immune system that attacks insulin producing cells and causes type 1 diabetes. This approach involves antibody mediated depletion of T cells as well as antibody mediated uh, depletion of hematopoietic stem cells which give rise to T cells as well as other cells of the immune system. This approach has a advantage over the existing approaches of immune ablation in that it is far less toxic than uh, chemotherapy based methods of ablating the immune response. We think that through this strategy of antibody mediated uh, T cell and hematopoietic stem cell ablation, we can replace a patient's, we can halt progression of type 1 diabetes and replace a patient's immune system with an immune system that is not prone to attacking insulin producing beta cells. And this strategy that we're taking is going to be used in conjunction with Stefan Kistler's approach of increasing the regulation of the T cells and followed after that with the strategy of Peng Yi to regenerate the endogenous beta cells. And through the combination of these three approaches, we think that we can reset the endogenous immune response, we can increase regulation, and we can protect the beta cells that have been regenerated. And that three-pronged approach we think is going to eventually allow us to, uh, to cure type 1 diabetes.